Hello, I'm abx 2 cat and welcome back to another second channel video. Today I have some more Geography of Toy Cat. That's right, it's a series I do on the second channel that a lot of people actually do seem to quite like. That's right, on the Russia's Pretty Big video, a lot of people really requested that I do a, you know, kind of follow-up video on another country, because it's kind of cool to go through and talk about some weird facts about countries. And with that said, I thought it would be a cool idea, but it doesn't really make too much sense to do the same style of video, because Russia is the biggest country, and it's just so big by a massive margin that it wouldn't make sense for me to take the second or third biggest country and be like, oh, you guys hear about how big the US is? Is. You guys hear about Alaska, isn't that wacky? Because most of you are from the US, like 55% according to analytics, and even if you're not, you probably know about Alaska, you probably know about Hawaii, you probably even know about Guam and all those other weird islands that the US owns. So with that said, instead of talking about the US, because most of you are English speakers, I assume you have to be to keep up with how fast I actually talk, yeah, because most of you are English speakers, I talk about a country that's not English, which is France. So again, you might think France is actually pretty small toy cat, you can't say France is pretty big, because look at it compared to any country from any other continent. And yeah, European countries are quite small usually, but France isn't big just by, you know, territorial land. France is big when you consider point-to-point -point distance. So even Russia's point-to-point -point distance is, you know, it's pretty big, but it's not, uh, you know, uh, giantly massive. France is actually, uh, you know, and it takes place in two, continent, uh, two continents, pretty big country, right? But uh, France is so big that it's actually on four separate continents, and the point-to-point -point distance is one of the biggest in the world, and it single-handedly extends the EU all the way from one part of France all the way to the other. So you might be thinking, Toy Cat, no, 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 you get something confused here, but it's actually a really cool little story they'll be explaining in today's video. So yeah, France is actually pretty big, and I'll be explaining why. If you do all enjoy the, the geography of Toy Cat, please do keep requesting them, because I can talk about geography all day, or all year, I guess, and uh, yeah, let's start by talking about France, and start by talking about, you know, the France, uh, you know, uh, what we're going to be talking about today, because you might be thinking I'm going to be talking about territories, because most countries in Europe, uh, or most countries that had empires, like the Netherlands, like with Denmark, like with the United Kingdom, like with Sp uh, Spain and Portugal, actually still have a lot of islands around the world, that they count as territories, because they used to just be part of the country, you know, we annexed them, kind of like what the UK did with uh, the US all, all the way back then. Oh yeah, remember that. But, <laughs> you know, so they basically they just did that and they owned a lot of islands. And then the islands slowly won independence, so they became territories where they now govern themselves, they have their own currency. A good example of this would be the Isle of Man or uh, Guernsey or something like that. You know, places that are part of the country officially, but kind of aren't. Uh, if you look at Denmark, they technically own Greenland, this big mass, but it governs itself, it has its own government, it has its own currency, I believe even. Basically, yeah, not really a part of the, uh, you know, no, not really a part of the country at all, just kind of officially there. However, France has done a surprisingly good job at holding on to these places, unlike these other uh, places, so that uh, France actually still has territory that's just France in every single way, all the way across the globe on lots of different continents. So, uh, you know, th there's a lot of examples of these we'll be going through, but yeah, like I mentioned, I wasn't, I was being serious when I said France is actually on four different continents because of this weird anomaly, uh, and it's technically on five if you include territories, which I think is the most funny in the world, as one of the biggest point-to-point -point distances of any country in the world, and let's go through these places and just talk a little bit about them. So yeah, let's just start by talking about the France you know as France, so we don't get confused here. This is the official France. This is where 80% of the landmass is, where like 85% of the population is, and it's where all the things you associate as being French come from. So the Eiffel Tower, I don't know, like baguettes. I mean, you can get a baguette in any country, but you get, you get the point. This is the France you know as France. If you want to visit France, you go to here. You don't go to the African France and say, oh yeah, this is the same thing. I can see the Eiffel Tower from here. It doesn't work that way. This is France, France, and it's the France most people know. And it's actually a really nice star shape. I mean, I didn't notice until I like really paid attention, but it's a really nice star shape. And it's actually also pretty big as far as, uh, you know, European country goes. Like if you compare it to the UK, it's actually a bigger landmass in the UK. It's bigger than Spain. It's bigger than a lot of other countries, which is, it's nice. Go France. You, you're doing a good job. And the only really uh, anomaly of the borders that I can notice is uh, with Switzerland and Geneva because Geneva like Switzerland just kind of juts right out there into France and the funny thing about Geneva is because it is such a thin border between France uh, so it's France then Switzerland then uh, France a lot of people who uh, live uh, work in Geneva actually live in France and then commute into another country and that's kind of nice to me I mean it'd be cool to uh, commute into another country right but yeah with that said just that odd little anomaly the only other anomaly is the fact that the closest islands to France aren't a part of France so even though France owns all this place all these places around the world the these islands which are so massively close to France actually belongs to the UK. They're the territory thing I mentioned earlier, so they have their own currency. It's a mess. But places that France own that are close, uh, first of all, starts with Corsica. So Corsica is kind of close to Nice and all these other countries over here, but it's actually closer to Italy, as it turns out, which is amusing. Like, the, the places, you know, th these are really close to France and the UK. These are close to Italy, and it's French. Again, European islands, it's wacky, right? But yeah, this is uh, one of the biggest territories owned by France, and it's also one of the most special. It has its own special title, but officially, yeah, it's just a part of France. The people who live here are French citizens. They uh, they use the euro. It's a part of the uh, European Union. They're European Union citizens, so they have a lot of uh, liberties in that way, and they are, you know, they vote on the same president with the same leader. It's all the same stuff as being a part of France, even though they're just over here. And this isn't too surprising when it's over here, but all the other five ones we're going to today all have the same status, including, if we go to North America over here, an island in the Caribbean, 
called uh, Martinique. So this is the first one we're going to cover. It has a pretty decent population, similar to that of Corsica's. And yeah, it's a, it's just a place in the Caribbean islands that is officially a part of France. They're all French citizens. All that same stuff applies. And that's just such a wacky thing to me. Um, these islands are all kind of famous because, you know, all Caribbean islands have their own same thing because they're all actually pretty big and they all have their own kind of European thing. But yet they use the euro and yet it's still technically France. And if you wanted to, if you were for some reason in the North America and you're like, you know, I don't want to fly to another continent, you could fly to here and say you'd been to France. It would be cheating, but you could totally do that. And uh, speaking of going places that are France and cheating to do it, uh, actually French Guiana means that because, again, uh, if you ever see this on a map, this is the one that really blew my mind the first time I found out about it. French Guiana is actually a part of France. It's not its own country. Again, you look at a map, it says French Guiana. It's actually just the French territory of Guiana. And it's, uh, you know, officially, again, all the same things apply here. It's one of the least populated, which is 250,000 people living there. And because of this, France's borders actually include one with Suriname and one with Brazil, which, again, it's so wacky to me that you can drive from Brazil to France. Again, you're cheating if you do that. Don't, I mean, if you're from Brazil and you, you want to go to France, you probably should get a flight. You probably shouldn't drive there. But you could drive to France, and again, it would be cheating, but you can do that. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's always interesting to me the fact that because of this, France does have some extra borders in South America. And this brings uh, you know France's continent count to three. That's right, France is not only over here uh, in Europe, it's over here in North America and in the South America, because it couldn't pick one America. Uh, and speaking of just not picking one continent, there's two other islands that are part of France, technically two. Uh, the first one is Mayotte over here. Again, a pretty small uh, you know, a, a country right here. Uh, very, very African in, in feel. It's not really a part of France. Again, you're not going to see the Eiffel Tower from here, but officially a part of France and quite interesting. And then the more interesting one to me, to me is uh, Reunion, which is very, very close to Madagascar and actually has a lot of like its own species and stuff like that, big up of animals, I should say. Uh, it's just kind of unique and also has volcanoes, cool stuff like that. And it's the most populated of all of these overseas places with almost a million people living here. So yeah, even though it's a tiny little island off the coast of the island off the coast of Africa, it's still a pretty big island. And again, part of France votes the president and they had their own whole political thing, which is just kind of wacky to me. Speaking of that, if we haven't gone over it yet, because I recorded this once and I don't think I covered it this time, uh, Algeria also used to be a part of France, which meant that France used to extend from like there to there, which was kind of wacky to me. Uh, they actually gave up Algeria in the 80s, but still, they, they hold, uh, France is very, very good at holding on to places, including a massive chunk of Africa for the longest time, uh, which a lot of other places didn't. So yeah, with that said, France is on four separate continents. It's over here, it's over here, it's over there, it's over there. <laughs> and now you see what I mean when I say France is pretty darn big. The, the point point distance from, you know, there and then to there to there is pretty massive. And if you wanted to travel to every single region of France, it would take you a very long time. And that's excluding territory. So uh, France has a kind of special territory that's still not on the same lower level as like, uh, you know, uh, other countries will do of theirs, uh, which is over here, which you might have heard of, that technically brings their content count to seven, uh, sorry, five, to five if you want to count it, uh, because if you look around here, I, I can't even find it right now, because uh, I'm just terrible. Uh, it's actually French Polynesia, which is just somewhere near the date line, if I can find it, because I'm just terrible. So with that said, yeah, France actually has an overseas territory somewhere around here, um, and this, the, okay, so this, this okay, so as, as much as I love geography, I'm absolutely terrible at finding something, so French Polynesia. It's going to find it for us. There we go. So this is French Polynesia. It's officially just a territory of France. And a lot of this stuff doesn't count as French, not French citizen. But yeah, it has a lot of the same French qualities. And in the same way that other countries have the thing, it's very closely linked to France. And it's a part of Oceania. I mean, it's a very far out part. And it's a very, very, very small country. But if you want to go there, you can. And you can say you almost went to France. So with that said, yeah, France is pretty darn big. The time zones of France, if you want to consider these countries, is actually bigger than that of Russia. And again, you can kind of say it's the most in the world because you've got to bear in mind, this is right next to the date line on one side. It goes over to here, you know, onto the US kind of time zones, uh, to the Far East bit. Then it goes into South America with a Brazil time zone. Then it crosses, it has the normal kind of French time zone, which is, uh, I think it's GMT plus one, if I'm not mistaken. It might just be GMT. Uh, then we cross over to further to the right and we get GMT plus some even more. And then if you include all the territories, they basically have something in every time zone. And that's kind of wacky. France is a big country. And uh, yeah, go, go you. Holding on to the territories for longer than you should. Go, good job, maybe? But yeah, France is pretty big. I hope this taught you something about how big it is. Uh, there's France over here, France over here, France over there, France over there. There's France everywhere. You you probably have France somewhere in your back door, right back garden right now. And uh, maybe you should check. Maybe you should dig and maybe you'll find some France under there. But in all seriousness, yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. France is a pretty big country. Hopefully this helped you to teach that. Um, the next video I was kind of planning was like, oh, there are some countries that are in Europe that you might not know. Maybe that's one you want to see. Let me know in the comments. But besides that, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you didn't like it, here's me stroking a cat, because who doesn't like that? But yeah, thank you all very much for watching the video, and goodbye. There's the stop button.